Explore more about the topics you love with Topper. Subscribe now and keep learning. So we learn about the seven fundamental quantities in SI. First one is length. Length is measured in meters, right? One meter, the distance traveled by light in vacuum in one divided by two nine nine seven nine two four five eight seconds. Mass. Mass we measure in kg. What is one kg? One kg is thousand grams, very nice, but what is one kg? One kg is the mass of a platinum iridium cylinder kept at the International Bureau of Weights and Measures near Paris. The mass of the cylinder is called 1 kg. Copies of that will be available with various countries, right? And that we call it 1 kg. Time. Time we measure in seconds, right? Temperature. We measure in Kelvin. Kelvin is the SI unit of temperature. Electric current. Electric current we measure in ampere. Remember in SI, the fundamental quantity is electric current, not charge. Charge appears to be more fundamental in nature. But we define electric current as a fundamental quantity because we can measure current easily. We cannot measure charge easily, right? Current into time will give us charge. So electric current is a fundamental quantity of SI. Even it is ampere, right? Then we have got a quantity called luminous intensity. Luminous intensity we measure in a unit called Candela. Candela word has come from candles. Symbol is CD, small c, small d. And the last fundamental quantity which you learn more in chemistry and physics also is that amount of a substance. Amount of a substance is measured in mole. M-O-L-E is the full name, short form is M-O-L. Mole, small m, small o, small l. So these are the seven fundamental quantities in SI. Length measured in meters, mass measured in kg, time measured in seconds, temperature measured in Kelvin, electric current measured in ampere, luminous intensity measured in candela, and amount of a substance measured in mole. In addition to these fundamental quantities. We have got two supplementary quantities in SI. Supplementary extra quantities, right? Supplementary quantities, why they are called supplementary? Also we will understand. First one is plane angle. That we measure in radians. RAD. And solid angle, that we measure in steradians, SR, S-T-E, then write radians. Right here, radians is the full name. These are called supplementary quantities because these are actually dimensionless quantities. We learn about dimensions later. Okay. So, but they have got units, they are dimensionless, that's why I call them supplementary quantities. What is plane angle? Plane angle is the angle that you learn in school, right? That simple angle. In school you measure in degrees. Now we will measure in radians. So, what is radian? What is the radian measure of an angle? Suppose you measure this angle, you take a compass to an arc. Length of this arc by radius is what is theta in radians. Theta in radians is 
S upon R. Right? Whatever size of R you draw, S upon R will be same for a particular angle and that is what is theta and radians. So, what will be full circle? Full circle is, what is the length? 2 pi R. Right? So, 2 pi R if you divide by R, what will you get? 2 pi. So, 2 pi radians is 360 degrees. What will be half of 2 pi? Pi radians. And pi radian will mean 180 degrees. Because now you are going to measure the angle in radians also. Right? So, pi is 180. Pi by 2 radians will be? That is equivalent sign. Okay? You can draw this sign. That is equivalent. Pi by 2 radians is 90 degrees. Pi by 4 radians will be? 45 degrees. Pi by 3 radians will be 60 degrees. Pi by 6 radians will be 30 degrees. So, this is what you have to get used to now, right? 2 pi is 360, pi is 180, pi by 2 is 90, pi by 4 is 45 degrees, pi by 3 is 60 degrees, pi by 6 is 30 degrees. That is called radial measure of an angle. What is pi? What is pi? 22 by 7. Why 22 by 7? 3.14. Why 3.14? Why pi has got this value? From where this pi has come? What is pi? Pi is circumference by diameter of any circle. Whatever circle you draw, circumference by diameter will be a constant and that is called pi and that happens to be approximately 22 by 7 3.14 approximately this you can remember easily because circumference is 2 pi r right that you know and diameter is 2 r so this 2 r will get killed you are left with pi so, pi is circumference by diameter of any circle. Remember, pi is not 22 by 7 exactly. Pi is not 3.14. Pi, in fact, is an irrational number. Even though it is a ratio of two things, it is an irrational number. Because not a ratio of two integers. Right? What is an irrational number? Irrational number we cannot express in the form of p by q, where p and q are integers. q is not equal to 0 and p by q do not have a common factor. That is how we define irrational numbers. Pi is an irrational number, so you cannot write it as p by q, so it cannot be 22 by 7 exactly. Right? Pi is approximately 22 by 7. Pi is approximately 3.14. Other way of looking at irrational numbers is that you cannot express it as a terminating or recurring decimal. Let us look at this definition. Irrational number we cannot write as P by Q. Where P and Q are integers. Q is not equal to 0. And P and Q do not have a common factor. Explore more about the topics you love with Topper. Subscribe now and keep learning.